Yo, what's up everybody? It's B-Boy Prism and welcome to another exciting episode here at Body Metrics Now. Uh, I just want to talk to you guys about a recent, I guess you could say a documentary uh, video that I saw from the April and Wayne show. Talking about Satanic Illuminati Dance Exposed. Now, I've seen a lot of you dancers talking about this on the internet and um, people are very disappointed in some of these topics because I know... To a lot of dancers, the fact that people are, might be saying that it comes all from the devil might make you be like, whoa, like all the years I've spent dancing, you're going to tell me that it comes from the devil? Like, okay. Um, you know, I watched the whole documentary and I can understand some things that might look that way, especially when it comes to like Hollywood and the entertainment business. Um, you know, I, I do understand how a lot of that influence with money and power and, you know, demons or whatever, like those things can get in there. But I feel that that's kind of like being a hypocrite in a way because, you know, dancing is a form of expression, yes. But what, we're not allowed to express anger now? I mean, even from what I recall in the Bible, Jesus got angry. Didn't he go into the marketplace and turn tables over in the church and get mad because they were in God's house or whatever? I mean, they could have said, hey, he was possessed. But, I mean, seriously. Like, wasn't God also um, mad when he did that great big flood on humanity and in the Bible and uh, made Noah, like build the stuff and he like you know spread the wrath and the plagues and all these things was he possessed no I think it you know it just depends on what kind of you know expression you're having you know I feel like if you know in your heart because let me tell you something guys God knows what kind of person you are since before you even were born he knew what kind of person you are and there's a lot of people that are very good people out there. And, you know, because you dance a certain way, that doesn't necessarily mean, I mean, in my opinion, that you're, you know, worshiping any devil. I mean, I don't want to worship any devil. But I do understand that, you know, when I, when I particularly break, I do have aggression um, because it just makes things come out better and more explosive. It's not that I'm angry at people or... Or I'm angry at God and want to glorify Satan or anything like that. I'm just, that's the way I feel my moves come out better. You know, like I have to put some emphasis in it. And uh, having aggression when I'm doing it kind of makes it better for me at least, you know. It doesn't mean like I'm an unhappy person. I'm very happy. But, you know, a lot of dancers out there might feel like that's a way to vent. I mean, you know... If, if it was such a sin, then why did God give us the, the, the emotions to be able to feel these things if it's, like, from the devil? You know, I'm sure God gets mad sometimes, you know? And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But, um, you know, I can understand, you know, certain weird dance styles. Like, if you're, if it doesn't even look like you're dancing and you're wearing, like, demon stuff and, like, you know throwing up gang signs with demon symbols and stuff, yeah, okay, like, I can understand where that's coming from, but, I mean, if you're just dancing, like, to actual music and actually doing a form of dancing, I mean, it really just depends, I think, on the person and uh, what your true motivation is behind it. So, you know, I say, you know, do your research, you know, watch the video for yourself. You can make your own conclusions to it. Um, uh, I do feel like there is a lot of crazy um, subliminal things going on in the world that people might not be aware of. But I don't think that all dance is is wrong if it's not to like harps and cellos. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if it has a bunch of music that's like and lyrics that's cursing and, and saying, you know, evil things towards God or, or you know, um, depriving, like, people and, and women and children and all that kind of stuff, yeah, then, then you know, you wouldn't want to listen to that and, and influence any emotion through that. But if, you're, if it's just an instrumental 
and it just makes you like want to do something cool why not you know what i'm saying like uh i don't see anything wrong with that unless you're like sticking your tongue out and like your your eyes are rolling in the back of your head then i would probably say like you know you might want to turn that off you know what i'm saying so um you know you're your own person you know it, it, you're gonna make your own conclusion as long as you're in control of yourself and you know what your true motivation is and if you do believe in the lord and you know you you know you want to do right then a little dancing is not gonna gonna hurt you you know what i'm saying so um i hope maybe some of this might put some of you guys at ease um maybe reinforce some of the thoughts that you might be having but honestly it's it's your choice it's your decision maybe some of you might want to even stop from watching that video but a lot of people exaggerate and i feel like exaggeration all also turns away from god because honestly i remember a long time ago i used to be you know going to a christian church back in puerto rico and you know at first it was cool it was like oh this is something like you know everybody's like socializing and everybody's like doing fellowship and all this stuff and you know it brought me close to god but then like after a while when you chill with these people for for a long time then any little thing like if i have like a sticker and it has like a little like uh pokemon creature on it or something like they're like oh you can't have that because uh that uh is a portal for demons and uh you know the drawing it, it might look like nothing but you know but in reality it's like you know if you have a shirt and then it has some like a dragon oh you, that's the devil and this is like art expression these are all gifts i believe that are from god now it's up to you with what, what you what you want to do with it now if you're going to do it for evil and 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 put like weird symbols that might reflect uh, satan or a cult or something and you're an angry person and you're doing it wrong then i would say you might want to reevaluate and uh maybe go see some some church help or some psychiatric help or whatever but if you just have a sticker or something like it's not it's not going to do anything to you, you know what I'm saying? Like it really depends on like how you want to live your life. Like your your temple is your body. Everything around it is just there. You know what I'm saying? So if you know like deep down inside yourself you are, you know, have a connection with with God, then honestly anything you do, he's going to guide you because it's not like he's going to be like you're connected but you're on your own. You're just going to do whatever you want and whatever. No, like if you know like you're telling to God, like, you know, I love you and and I, I want you to guide me and teach me and whatever, then everything that you do will be for God. You know what I'm saying? Even if you have some anger, I mean, what? You can't be angry that there's demons all over the world or or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, like, pretend at least, you know, like that when you're, when you're competing against somebody that maybe, like, that's, like, the devil's minions or something, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, it's saying, like, competition is is no good but when when god in the bible says that they're gonna have a, a freaking war you know apocalyptic war between like like he heaven and hell you know what i'm saying like you can kind of uh i guess role play in that sense when you go battle if if it makes it healthier you know as far as competing so i don't know it's up to you that's just my opinion i'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can check out the video that I saw and make your own conclusion. Uh, don't let it discourage you. Um, if anything, just you know, talk to somebody about it, or or a pastor, or somebody, or whatever. You know, talk to your loved one, and then you make your own conclusion on what you think is healthy for your life and your family. Because honestly, I don't think that there's anything wrong with dancing, as long as you have the right mindset to it. All right. Well, subscribe, like, share with your friends. There's a lot of New footage coming soon. Um, you know, GCC has uh, been working on some things, so you're going to see it soon. And I'll see you all later in the next episode. Peace.